Hey Sag, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for, oh wow, Sagittarius. <laughs> Sun, moon, or rising, as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a what is it? Sag, and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is linked down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there, that way you will always. <laughs> yeah, get an email notification every time my availability opens up and all that good stuff. Um, you guys can also follow me over on Instagram if you would like. Link is located down below. I just post more things on quantum physics, things I play around with alchemically over there. So, sorry. If you guys want to jump over, of course, feel free. What was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yes. If you do decide to jump over, here we go. Um, just know that occasionally I get scammers. So, if you get a follow request from an account posing to be me, that's your first red flag, please uh, check the description box down below for reference to all my social media links. I have nothing other than what's listed down below. All right? That's the first thing. Second, I will never DM you for personal readings, money, or donations of any kind. So... If any of that pops up, please report and block. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you have supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. All right. So you've got... This is an interesting combination. Some of you guys, it could be a Gemini. You also could have a Scorpio. I don't know if those connect with you in any way. But I will tell you that this is like... There is something that is about to come to an end. It feels like, not gonna lie, whenever the death card comes in, there's an energy that's, like, catalytic to your transformation. So, there could have been an energy here that you just, like, you know, someone could have maybe said something. There's a destruction and a renewal here. So, something about a particular person is causing you to transform and it could be health stuff, you know, death houses, death sex, transformation, taxes. So there's an ending that's coming in here. And I do want to say that you will be like, there's a particular person that you have. And this doesn't have to just be romantic for you guys. I know that that does look very romantic. But you could be completely ending like with like a particular person that you had this strong connection to okay and this has not been very easy you could have shed quite a few tears and you might have felt some pain over this situation or being connected to this person they might have too it feels like it's the end okay i also feel like this person whatever this transformation brought for you sag it's like you could have had to dissolve layers of maybe your ego or it could be a physical transformation. It's something like emotional where now you're coming into a different version of yourself because that's typically what happens is sometimes like that pain can be so beneficial, unfortunately, because it kind of like it exposes vulnerabilities. Energy gets released. That's why like crying is very good and healthy because it actually like releases energy. It's like Harry Potter. It's like your tears. They're molecular structures. Like they release energy from inside of you. So this particular person came in and helped you to kind of release some stuff. And now that that energy is getting released, this is all cellular DNA kind of activations that happen and you needed a particular person to activate this so for some of you guys your shame could have been exposed you could have felt very vulnerable because someone saw you in a light that maybe you didn't particularly want to be seen okay like they could have seen just like this different side of you that you've maybe kind of kept hidden or protected in some way okay feels like in some way that is coming in right now. Also, this is an uh, interesting side that I'm seeing happening. When you come out of this transformation, whatever part you're in, there is you're going to be connecting with someone. It's either a friend or like 
a romantic thing or a business partnership, whatever it is, there's some kind of union that's coming in. And that's why like spirit or the universe might actually even been, be like kind of pushing things a little bit more for you to like uh, change certain things about yourself or end, you know, kind of some routines or how you've been doing things for a while. You might feel a push or more of an impulse to switch up certain things like you could be detoxing or you could be like healing yourself at some capacity the lover's card is always gemini so it's an energy that comes in and just mirrors certain aspects of yourself <laughs> it doesn't always feel good but this is look at you have success sag so you have the two of wands right there you might be seeing the first signs of success do you know what I mean? This has been a long, hard fought battle, whatever this has been, and you're going to get success here. You're going to be the one that comes out on top, mainly because I think that you're just, you're not as like ruffled about the situation. And that might be the thing is like emotionally, you're more calm or handling things. And then you have the sun. This is amazing. You have a ton of fire energy coming in, surrounded by the Scorpio and the Gemini. So this is, that's your energy. That's you, Sag. You're very calm or patient, maybe in regards to a person. I'm not gonna lie, Two of Wands is also kind of like a partnership card. So I wonder if there's an energy that's at a distance from you, okay? And that's why I feel as though, like, when you go through, when you finish transforming, you know, shedding some layers of yourself, you're coming into a connection with a particular person. It looks pretty positive. Look, there's the two. The two birds. When this comes together, you guys will be very happy. This could also be very transformative. Let me see. Ugh. Stupid freaking. Let's see here. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, you have the Six of Cups. Okay. Don't get upset yet. I'm not going to go into, like, all your past. It just feels like to me that you could have... This was just all the retrogrades. It could have brought up a lot of past emotions, situations, you know? Um, oh, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. I wish there was a way to shuffle them <laughs> with just one hand. Let me see. Okay, Sag. Oh, look at it. It's your energy too. We have the King of Wands and the Hanged Man. That's an interesting combination. What did I say? And that's Leo right there too. I don't know if you guys are dealing with another fire sign or that could be you. You might be gaining confidence in some way over this next week or you're just very confident about what you're doing. Also, I'm seeing that there's an energy here that... Uh, wow, this is interesting because someone here wants to take action but they're holding back right now. But they're on the ready. Like they're someone could be waiting on you or like there's a person here that's still releasing something look there's the two of wands again what oh look at that okay so we have the two of wands four of cups three of swords and the four of swords okay That's a very interesting combination. There's just plans. Like, I'm just going to say this straight up, okay? Um, three of swords and the four of swords. 
why? So if something happened between the two of you, I'm just going to leave it because I just can't freaking handle this. So, Sag, if there's a person that is like you have a strong attraction to, this could be a person, male or female, with the King of Wands. That they're very attractive, like probably physically, but also like their confidence. Like they, they're they're pretty freaking confident. And this is what's interesting because I feel as though, um, something about this feels okay. Let me say it like this. There is this person here that's been, and it could be even two. I'm just going to say this straight up because I'm seeing that like you've been dealing with one energy that like could have been controlling or possessive, maybe even jealous. I'm just going to say it, AKA that queen of pentacles, male or female, like that can be the shadow side of that energy. And I feel as though that energy has been pushing you quite a bit. It feels like to me, I'm just going to say this straight up, that what you've been handling on one side with one person somehow might have affected, like, your relationship with another person. Because there's, there's a person here that might be feeling kind of disappointed or bored or, like, maybe even apathetic. They're not really moving or making any movements, and it's because it's in connection to something about your transformation. Both of you are making plans Okay, so I wonder if both of you are kind of solo at this time. I'm. It's possible that I'm seeing you coming into, like, a connection with a particular person. Like I said, I don't know if this is love or romance or what it's really talking about. But it feels like to me, oh, okay, now switch the energy. Are you ready for this? Because, like, the death card. There's an entanglement where I feel like the shadow side that's kind of going through a transformation for you at this time it could have been a code, like, it could have been energetically attracting you to some type of codependent energy or enmeshed energy, like, someone who, like, it just sucked, <laughs> okay? But on the opposite side, another energy, there might be someone that resurfaces from your past. This Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, when it comes in on the light side, which is the sun, so this is like happy news, happy, like, you know, you hear from a person and you're just full of joy, like, oh my gosh, okay? It feels like to me that you you will be moving in the direction of a particular person because it almost feels like if you have an energy that's at a distance from you, it's not like it's like you have to take steps or make certain actions and it's going to lead you to into connection with each other. Do you know what I mean? It's not necessary. Like, I mean, I, normally I'd be like, oh, y you might be traveling to see this person, but it feels like almost to me that w that could eventually come, but there's still some growth that needs to happen. But also, like I said, this person feels um, they're trying to heal. I don't know if something happened between the two of you, like, but this person feels, like, hurt, just FYI, whoever this is, because I was almost getting, like, I was getting a tiny bit, oh, communication is coming, because there's unfinished, something isn't finished here, and there's healing that needs to take place, because I was seeing that this person... I don't know if you took something out on Sag because, like, they could handle it or they're strong. Like, that King of Wands is, like, a very strong person. But they they do feel hurt. But something about, like, you had another energy that actually was causing some kind of pain. And that Three of Swords kind of feels as though... I don't know. This person feels betrayed or something. Right now, it's hard for them to move forward or move past, like, whatever happened. And that's why I'm wondering if there could be communication. Like, I don't know if it, whose side it's coming from. And if it's, like, apologies. I don't see anything like that. But temperance can totally be a reconciliation. So it's possible you and another person might be making amends at this time or, like, smoothing things over. 
maybe during another time where things were pretty turbulent or you were dealing with something and it just feels as though someone like lashed out on another person when they were dealing with another stressful situation to be honest that's what this sounds like to me okay so it's up to you. I see there's an opportunity for travel, communication, like to work things out, but it's up to you guys. Okay. No extended for this week, but I wanted to get something out for you guys. So I hope you guys got something useful from this. With that being said, sending you so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.